So, we just spotted an asteroid so massive it could wipe out an entire continent if it ever hit Earth. And it's moving insanely fast, almost record speed. But what makes it really scary is how it's basically playing hide-and-seek with us. It can slip right into the sun's glare and vanish completely. And yeah, it just did it again. It disappeared. So when we finally spot it again, will we have enough time to prepare? Or could it already be too late for humanity? <laughs> Do I have your attention now? Ah, thanks. So meet 2025 SC-79. That's a mouthful, so I'll just nickname it Scooby. This newly found asteroid is a sneaky one, the kind that loves hiding in the sun's glare. Think of it as trying to spot a firefly next to a stadium light. The brightness hits your eyes and outshines anything faint nearby. So yeah, you won't see that firefly. Now asteroids hide in the same frustrating way. When they end up close to the sun from our point of view on Earth, the glare overwhelms our telescopes, and the asteroid's dim, reflected light gets lost in it. That's why some asteroids can cruise along in the sun's direction and stay basically invisible to us. And scientists say the most dangerous asteroids, the ones that could wipe out a whole city, are the hardest to detect. That's why astronomers need to somehow dodge the sun's glare. One way they do it is by observing the sky during the short window of twilight. I mean, right before sunrise or just after sunset. And that timing is a big deal, because it's the only way to catch some risky asteroid before it sneaks up on Earth. Scientists say that if one of these so-called twilight asteroids ever gets close to Earth, it could be a serious impact threat. And it was during one of these twilight observing sessions that scientists finally spotted this huge asteroid. It was September 27, 2025. Scott Shepard, an astronomer at a Washington-based institute, was scanning the sky, hunting for anything unusual in our solar system. And he had an incredible tool in his hands, the Dark Energy Camera, ooh, or DECAM, one of the most powerful sky survey cameras on Earth, built to spot faint objects across huge areas of the universe. At one point, he spotted a faint dot moving across the image. So he quickly aimed the high-tech camera at it, and things got more interesting. Its movement matched what astronomers expect from asteroids that orbit very close to the Sun. Then, follow-up observations with the Gemini and Magellan telescopes confirmed the discovery. Yes, this really was an asteroid, and there are two particularly curious things about it. First, it's fast. Like, really fast. In fact, it is the second fastest known asteroid orbit in the solar system. It loops around the Sun once every 128 days. For comparison, Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, takes 88 days to go around once. Second, its orbit is super rare. This is only the second known object that stays completely inside Venus's orbit. That also puts it in one of the rarest asteroid groups out there, the Atiris. These are asteroids whose orbits sit entirely inside Earth's orbit. Astronomers have found only a few of them so far, and Scooby is the 39th one in the list. The team of scientists also figured out that this asteroid is pretty big, measuring about 2,300 feet across. It's roughly the size of Merdeka 118, the second tallest building on Earth. If an asteroid this size ever slammed into Earth, it wouldn't just be bad, it would be catastrophic. We're talking about damage on a continental scale. It would blast a huge crater into the ground, then throw out a shockwave powerful enough to wipe out forests and wreck cities. Seismic waves would ripple through the crust, triggering widespread earthquakes around magnitude 7.4, and people could still feel them about 300 miles away from the strike. And that's not all. A brutal air pressure blast would race outward, shattering windows more than 1,000 miles away. Then comes the aftermath. Dust and debris from the impact could shoot up into the atmosphere, block some sunlight, and mess with our climate. I know, you might feel scared right now, but don't worry about it. Thankfully, Scooby isn't going to do anything like that, because it's not on a collision course with Earth. 
Right now, the math shows it won't be making any close passes by our planet, at least not anytime soon. Still, there's a lot more to learn about this asteroid, but any further studies will have to wait. For now, it has disappeared behind the Sun and is out of sight. Once it reappears, astronomers will take a closer look and try to learn more about what it's made of. That part really matters, because this asteroid is somehow holding up while orbiting so close to the Sun's brutal heat. You see, this asteroid gets very near to the Sun. At its closest point, this asteroid is blasted with almost six times Earth's sunlight. At that distance, its surface could heat up to about 440 degrees Fahrenheit. What scientists don't know yet is how a rock this big can get baked over and over again without falling apart. And there are two more things astronomers want to check once it comes back into view. How fast it spins and how bright it looks. Now, by bright, I mean how much sunlight it reflects. Because asteroids don't make their own sunlight. They're just big rocky chunks that shine by reflecting sunlight back at us. Anyway, those clues can tell scientists what Scooby is made of. One possibility is that this asteroid is loaded with dense metal, and that could explain how it survives the sun's brutal heat. And if that turns out to be true, this asteroid could be a relic from when the solar system was just forming. Or maybe it slowly moved closer to the sun, because the gravity of Venus and Mercury gently pulled on it again and again over millions of years. Now, even though SE-79 isn't a real danger to us, and there's still a lot we don't know about it, just finding it is already a big deal. It's a reminder that big asteroids can hide from us. So even in our own cosmic backyard, there are still blind spots where large objects can stay hidden until the right moment of twilight gives them away. And as our detection tech gets better, we keep finding more and more asteroids. By now, scientists have spotted over a million in the solar system. They come in all sizes, from monsters like Vesta that measure about 329 miles wide, all the way down to rocks that are smaller than a house. Now, out of all the asteroids we know, about 40,000 are what we call near-Earth asteroids, or NEAs. That just means their orbits bring them close to our neighborhood. Technically, their closest point to the Sun is less than 1.3 times the Earth-Sun distance. It's close enough for planetary defense systems to keep a careful eye on them. And that's exactly why we can relax. I mean, nobody has to lose sleep imagining an asteroid slamming into our planet. Every time scientists discover a new asteroid that comes anywhere near Earth, they track it and run the numbers right away. And then they map out its path years, decades, or even centuries into the future. And they don't do it by guesswork. NASA's automated systems, like Sentry, constantly scan the asteroid catalog and calculate whether any of these objects has even a small chance of hitting Earth over the next 100 years. If something looks risky, it jumps to the top of the watch list and gets followed up fast. So yeah, there are almost 2,000 near-Earth asteroids that technically have some chance of hitting us in the next 100 years. But don't panic. Most are small and harmless, hey, like me. And their odds of impact are usually way under 1%. See why I said we shouldn't stress too much? Cool. Now, sleep tight! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.